I just found out there's a way to create unblocked games using ChatGPT, and I'm going to show you how to make your own. You'll be able to play these games at school and work, and the best part is you don't even need internet, so there's no way to block it. So let's get into it, and I'll show you how to make it. All right, to start off, obviously the first thing we need to do is head over to OpenAI using their ChatGPT website and create an account if you don't already have one. And once you do, you'll be able to go to this website where you can type in any prompt you want here. I mean, if you haven't tried this out already, there's tons of different things you can do with it, but we're gonna make a unblock game using it and I'm gonna do it by using this prompt right here. We're gonna tell it to create a JavaScript game in one file I can play at school. And I say JavaScript because whenever I type in HTML, it doesn't seem to like that. It says it can't create an HTML game. So I'm gonna do JavaScript and I say in one file because a lot of the times when I ask it to create a game, it'll separate the CSS and JavaScript into separate files and then you have to go in and link it. So this way, it'll just create it all in one file and it'll make it a lot simpler for those people that don't know how to code as well. We're gonna hit enter. And you can see it's just saying it's gonna create a simple rock, paper, scissors game. Now don't worry, I'm just gonna show you the basics right here. I know rock, paper, scissors isn't that exciting, but I'm gonna show you how to play this game and then we can go on and create some uh, better games. As you can see, it created some HTML code that we can just copy at the top if we hit copy code. And I'll tell you how to play it down here, what the object of the game is. I'll give you some more information about it up here. But now that we have the code, all we have to do is go to a directory on our computer. I have this unblock games folder that I made. What you want to do once you find where you want to store your file at is right click, hit new, text document. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to do unblocked.txt. Then we're gonna open it up. You just play a blank text file like this. And now we wanna paste in all the code. And if you just keep it as a text document, obviously you're not gonna be able to run it. So what we need to do is go to file, save as, and keep it as unblocked. But instead of text, we're gonna do HTML at the end. And hit save. Now we can exit out of the notepad. And we should have another file in here now, unblocked.html. When we double click on that, it should open up a browser window and choose our move. This is the basic rock, paper, scissors game that it gave us. We're just going to choose rock. I lost apparently. Seems kind of rigged. I don't know. Lost again. Can I tie? Okay. But you see the object of the game there. Now let's go back and create a better game because this is pretty boring. So if we go back to chat GPT, we still have our same prompt right here that we just got. So if we go down here, we can actually ask it to create another one. And if I hit enter, it's gonna give us another game, probably a little similar to this, some basic game. But if you can actually tell it to create games similar to other games, so I'm gonna do create another one similar to Breakout. If you don't know about the game Breakout, well, you're missing out, you should go play it. And here it is trying to create a game similar to Breakout. This one is taking a little bit longer to construct. That's how you know it's a good game. All right, and I'm glad this happened. This is a similar problem I run into with some of the longer codes or the longer games that it has to code. You can see it just stopped down here. This is where it takes a little bit of coding knowledge, but not much. It stopped without finishing the code. So what you have to do sometimes, and you know it's finished when the last tag should be this eight, uh, forward slash HTML. We don't see that down here, so that means it's not done. So if we just tell it to keep going and hit enter, it should start to finish the code again. Oh, this is a long one. All right, it looks like it's almost done, but still we don't have that HTML tag down here. So we gotta tell it to keep going again. I'm not sure why it stops like this. Uh, I don't know if it's something built in where it just doesn't continuously spit out text. We'll tell it to keep going. And finally, we reached the uh, forward slash HTML tag at the bottom. See, it's not part of the code, a uh, little snippet here. So we have to copy that manually. But now to run this, we have to go all the way back up to where we asked it to create the game in the first place. So we can copy all this all the way down to the bottom right before it stopped. Now we're going to go back to our directory here. New text document. There we go. Breakout. And then we're going to open that up, paste all in this code, but we're not, we don't have all the code in there yet. So we got to go back to this. We told it to keep going. Now we got to copy this code. Go back to our text document. 
Enter, paste that in. Go back to ChatGPT. Copy this code. <laughs> it's a lot of copying. Paste that in there. Go back to ChatGPT. Copy this code. Almost there. Paste that in. And the final two little snippets. And now we can finally save as breakout.txt. Get rid of the text. HTML. And save. So now hopefully when we go back to our directory here and we open up breakout.html, cross your fingers, and there we go. It's kind of a basic uh, looking breakout game. The object of this one is to keep the ball going and get rid of all these bricks. Now there's some cool things we can do with the code afterwards. You can see our paddle, you know, not going too fast. The ball is kind of going slow. So if you really want to get uh, into the code, let me just lose real quick. <laughs> There we go, game over. We can actually go back to our breakout HTML file. I'm gonna edit it with my Notepad++ this time. And you'll be able to see some variables at the top. This is where you can do some changes to the code. Most of these games uh, have like some kind of speed related to them. So for instance, we have ball speed X, ball speed Y. If we bump these up to like three, and maybe get our paddle speed, like uh, let's make it even harder. There's no way I'm gonna win this. Uh, let's do our paddle speed five. And we can even make our paddle, well, let's make our, like a 120 width. Then we save it, go back to the breakout.html and open it back up. Uh, this game's probably gonna end really quick. Oh, cursor was loading there. You see how slow my paddle goes now, but it's a lot bigger and the ball is going super fast and I already lost. So yeah, a lot more difficult. So you can kind of play around with different variables, change the game how you want. And yeah, again, if you go back to a chat GPT, you can really ask it to, I don't know, create great different games. If I just, uh, like I said, if I come down here and say create another, it'll just give you another game. It'll spit you out another game that all you have to do is just copy the code, go paste it in an HTML file and it should work. Some of the times the games don't work right off the bat and you can ask it like, uh, if I hit, I'm just gonna stop this real quick. You can come back and ask it like, the game isn't starting. Yeah, that's like an error you run into. It'll actually give you corrected code for it. It'll just keep on giving you code. It'll help you troubleshoot your game. And yeah, it's pretty smart. Even if these games aren't the best games you can find on the internet, uh, it'll maybe help you out with your coding a little bit and keep you entertained for maybe five, 10 minutes. And if you really want to get crazy, you can ask it to be, you know, more creative. Uh, it'll start using packages from the internet, in which case you would need the internet to actually run these games. So for instance, if I say create an FPS game and hit enter. So see now if I tell it to try coding one, it's actually trying to spit out some code that uses 3.js. I'm sure it's some type of package that I have no clue. I'm not a, uh, a gaming software developer. I'm not actually gonna run this one because I don't think it'll work, but you can try it out for yourself and uh, let me know in the comments if it actually worked for you. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Tell me what games you created and if they worked or not. And if you don't mind, just to hit the like button, subscribe, do all the stuff that YouTubers tell you to do and check me out on the socials. We out.